Alright, so the final figure part of the new wave of G.I. Joe Classified series, it's going to be the Cobra Officer. This is uh, number 37 in the entire line, and he's part of the wave that comes with Spirit, Iron Knife, and the classic Storm Shadow. So a, a wave of three, the case is assorted with two of each, so it's a case of six, um, so keep that in mind. I actually prefer smaller waves like this, like a, a wave of only three new figures, and I love that there's no repacks either, there's no reissues. Uh, if anything, they should just reissue Army Builders, that's that's the idea there, they should have just given us more Cobra Vipers or Officers, I guess. Uh, but it's cool, we've gotten Cobra Officers, Cobra Infantry, and Cobra Vipers already, we have a lot of Cobra Soldiers. I, I, what I'm trying to say here and I love the variety meaning that you can make an army and have different ranks you don't have to all have the same exact soldier although the infantry is a nice one to have a lot of because there's always a lot of grunts when it comes to army building you gotta have that you can't just have a hundred officers but a couple officers here and there tacked on with some vipers and infantries are gonna look really cool and of course we got the Cobra Troopers which are infantries but a little bit different uh, so there's that variety there. The big attraction for me in this release has to be the weapons. I think we got some new weapons here. I don't think I've seen some of the weapons I'm seeing right now through this window. This assault rifle, that little submachine gun, and the pistol that I'm looking at look like brand new scopes. And they look realistic. They're not like Nerf guns. So that's uh, a plus. Uh, we got some magazines there, some other weapons. So let's take a look at that as well as the figure. Uh, from the box, got the image, the art image there. The art image looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks a little different art style than the uh, Iron Knife Spirit figure uh, and the Storm Shadow. So it looks like they have been just mix and matching and cherry picking and just doing different art styles for each character now, even though it's the same wave. A little odd. I, I do prefer the more realistic art styles, so I hope they keep that up. Here's the backside poster image, which is changed with this wave to include some of the newer uh, characters that they have been making into figures. So that's really dope. All right, so out of the box, my version came a little bit warped, unfortunately. Uh, it's got some uh, leg issues, uh, but I did the best I can to stand him up straight right now. And he looks pretty nice. I like the paint apps on the figure, the, uh, the sculpting, the uh, texture looks really good so it's overall very different you know i'm so used to seeing the cobra infantries and cobra troopers that i love seeing this different look for a trooper uh, it really does look like he is an officer so <laughs> looks great that's what he is starting off with the accessories we'll start off with this helmet this comes separately packed in so we got the the cobra helmet with the, the v on the front and that just goes right over his head and now you have him with the uh, the helmet there so you can choose which way you want to present him uh, we also do get a holster here that is packed in separately too got the cobra symbol on there you see all the texture there looks pretty cool uh, and then we get his assault rifle so his assault rifle is packed in like this. So you got to kind of put it together, which is cool. And really the only thing you got to put into it is the magazine. But there's also a little slot right there on the barrel on the top. For what it looks like, it's a scope. This is also packed in separately. It's a very weird location for a scope. Let's see what it looks like once it's attached. All right, there you go. And looks can be deceiving. It's definitely not a scope. It is a flashlight. Uh, and of course, we get two magazines. I mean, they're pulling a Mezco here, giving us extra magazines, which is pretty cool. Uh, but we can slide one in here. And now we get the full look here. It looks almost like an AK-47. So it's looking very nice. Look at the scope there. I like the scope. They only really painted the, the you know, barrel right here. Little bottom barrel grip. And that's it, but that does come a long way, as I always state. I do wish there was more color, though. Baby steps, I guess. But the sculpt is 100% there. It looks very nice. Definitely the first time I've seen this weapon released by Hasbro, so I don't know if it's a new sculpt, but it most likely is. Here's the other magazine, same sculpt. You can just have him hold it or holster it or whatnot. Then we get this gun. It's like a slow submachine gun here without a stock. So very fast aim down sights right hip fire 
action going on there. There's a little slot there on the side. I don't see any type of magazine. Let me double check the package, but I don't see any magazine for that, so that's kind of odd. Okay, there is no other magazine, so I'm just going to use the same magazine as the assault rifle, and that fits perfectly so I think that's what it's for so the double magazines serves a purpose not just an extra magazine I guess um, I mean this makes sense I've seen guns like this so the little side magazine action there I like that it's a double double use of the same magazine there works for both um, it's the only thing I can think of it definitely isn't for that flashlight it doesn't fit it's not the same peg hole so it's for the magazine and that looks nice very nice I love the realistic weapons here that's something we get a lot by Marvel Legends, so it's nice to see. The sculpt is all there, of course. It's all black. Um, wish there was more paint. That's all. Got the peg hole on the barrel. Let me see the assault rifle. Yep. They have been giving us holes on the barrels, meaning we can attach effects to it, which is just awesome. Very nice. And then we get a pistol. So this guy's fully loaded with guns, which I love to see. And this is just a regular... Uh, Regular pistol looks like one of those German pistols. I don't know the name of it, but somebody will. And then here is the um, the peg hole as well. Aside from that, those are the three guns he comes with. We also do get a knife with a painted blade. Very nice. Got to point that out because they don't always paint the blades. So I always appreciate painted accessories. Love the painted knife. So those are all the accessories that our Cobra officer comes with. All right, here's a closer look at the figure. We can see the face. It's a darker skin toned person in there, so that's cool. And then we have the symbol, the Cobra symbol painted on very nicely. Texture wise, you can see on the shoulder, the biceps, or on the neck there as well. The harness straps over his shoulders, those are painted too. The belt isn't painted. You can see that they, uh, you know, left that part out, but it's not too bad. I mean, it's just all black, so just, you know, it would always be nice if there was some paint. We, also, we do get the painted little uh, patch there, and you can see the texture on the legs down to the boots there. We even painted the little buckles on the boots. That's what I mean. That's what I'm talking about. Stuff that, you know, stuff like that, very subtle. Trying to get it in focus here. There you go. Subtle stuff like that goes a long way. Like they could have painted the buckle here on the belt. Something. Maybe the little pouches. Maybe the little buttons. I don't know. There is a buckle right there. That's unpainted. So. Anyways, there's your close look. As we see, there is a there is a holster here on his thigh. So that's going to be definitely for the knife. So we can slide the knife in there. There you go. So there's a look at that. And then there's also a holster on the back side here on the waist. And the big holster that came packed in separately pegs into his back like this. You can either have it on one side or the other, but I think it makes more sense like that. But mainly it's for the assault rifle. The assault rifle fits like a glove because that's what it's for. So you could pull off the sun machine gun in there if you're holding the assault rifle, but if you're not, then the uh, you know the assault rifle is going to go into this holster or the sheath on his back there perfectly with the magazine you're just gonna have to take off the flashlight attachment and now since I took off the flashlight attachment to attach the assault rifle on his back I found where that goes so that goes into this holster right here um, tight fit but it works all right and there's a look at him with uh, everything attached there I went ahead and put the submachine gun in his hands since the holster is for the assault rifle so overall the look is great now uh, the gun is very difficult to get into his hands. He's got one of those very hard plastic finger hands. So separating the, the fingers, you know, to put the barrel of the gun in there is a little difficult. Uh, I hate when that happens. I just, I can't stand it. It just hurts your fingers trying to, uh, trying to put an accessory into the hands of a figure that it's meant to go into. Just, I hate that. Um, it's either it's too loose or it's too tight. Those are always the, the worst case scenarios. And we're always hoping for a good fit uh, when it comes to accessories and figures. But overall, once you get it in there, it's not going to go anywhere. And it looks good. It looks great. Uh, moving on, articulation-wise, nothing too crazy here. I don't really need to go through it. I mean, we all know what to expect. This is pretty standard Cobra Trooper articulation. Uh, we got our double jointed elbows that are pinned 
knees, you know, legs drop down, they go forward and back. Nothing, you know, nothing crazy here. But the only thing I really want to point out is the ab crunch he comes with, um, at least on my figure. Uh, it is a ratchet joint or a clicking uh, ab crunch. So it it doesn't click, it doesn't make the sound, but it is ratcheted. You'll, you'll feel it when you move them around. And the, the issue this gives me is that um, whenever it's a clicking, um, you know, mechanism, uh, the articulation is going to stop either at point A or point B. You know what I mean? It's not in between. And what this one is, when it's at point A, it's too far back. When it's at point B, it's too far forward. He's like slouching forward. And I need him to stand up straight. So it's like... There's no in between because if you try to get them straight, it's gonna click back. If you try to get them straight, it's gonna click forward. Um, you can slowly play with it and get it in the middle, but then over time, maybe it's gonna snap back forward or snap all the way back, you know. But uh, just something worth pointing out, I guess. It's a nitpick, but um, it is something that's annoying and it doesn't really happen with all figures. But if you play with it enough, you will get him into a decent pose, I guess. It's always depending on angles, because when you look at him from the front, it's not bad. The side, he looks like he's slouching a little bit. I don't know, I'm I'm finagling the legs too. My uh, left leg came a little warped, so it's like bent like this. It's a little weird, but it is what it is, I guess, sometimes. Overall, it's not... It is not fatal, you know, it's not going to make the figure terrible, but it is worth pointing out. So moving into the size comparison uh, section, of course, next to some of the other figures in this very wave, we have Spirit Iron Knife with Freedom, the eagle, on his shoulders. I managed to get him in frame this time around, I had to pan out a little bit, but um, you can see the Cobra Officer does stand taller than Spirit if you count the... Um, if you count the helmet on his head. But I think even without it, he would still stand a little taller. Let's see. I guess just a tad bit. And next here we have Classic Storm Shadow, which is the third and final figure from this wave. So we only have Cobra Officer, Storm Shadow, and Spirit. And that's it. So very solid, small wave. I, I, I like the short and sweet ones for sure. And he is on the table here, so I'll go ahead and throw in Zartan. And then here is a Cobra Trooper. This is the Target exclusive version, the first one that they released. And you can see that he does sport some of the same legs and arms. So there's really no point in looking at the articulation like I did earlier because of the fact that we've gotten this figure like three times now. Uh, but you see here different weapons. I really, really like the new weapons of this new Cobra Officer. That's really the highlight of this release for me, uh, are the weapons. So very cool. We had these uh, more futuristic looking weapons before, and it came with these giant pegs on the side because they wanted you to peg it on the back directly. Uh, it just looked, ugh, I didn't like it. So glad they're moving away from that and giving us some more realistic looking weapons for sure. Then here's the Cobra Viper, which is also another Target exclusive release. And here is the Cobra Commander himself, next to the Cobra Officer. So he's going to look great, definitely, once we get everybody all together. you got the Officers, the Troopers, the Vipers, everything Cobra related around Cobra himself will look so good. Very excited uh, to get a classic Cobra. Uh, it's not announced or revealed or anything like that, but I, you know it's got to come eventually. So that's something always really cool to look forward to. So that's the review of the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Officer figure. Overall, I like it. It's a nice addition to the army. It's a nice addition to the collection. Like I mentioned before, the weapons are the highlight of this release for me. And uh, it's always nice to get another ranking officer within the Cobra army or any army for that matter. So I like that they took the opportunity to give us new weapons. I keep emphasizing that because they easily could have just repacked old ones and called it a day. So that's appreciated. Hopefully they keep that up. So good job on that G.I. Joe team at Hasbro. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Uh, you know, below, <laughs> of course. I uh, really want to know what you guys think of this new wave. 
I think it's a solid wave, one of the best ones uh, out of the whole line. Yeah, a good group of figures, definitely. Uh, Spirit with Freedom and Storm Shadow are a must. And uh, this is definitely a must for you army builders out there. So don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and as always, take it easy. I'll catch you on the next one.